Okay, hello guys, good night. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience because I was in a class before this one and I was um, making the changes from the last class to this one. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm going to show you something about what we're going to do and we're going to refer to this model. I'm going to share the screen for you guys. And here we have. Okay, guys. Let's start. Let's start here, guys. Okay. Eh, mucho gusto a todos, ¿verdad? Este, eh, eh, pedirle de, de favor la colaboración de mantener sus micrófonos apagados por el momento. Verifiquemos eso. Bueno, eh, buenas noches a todos. Mi nombre es Ricardo García Guerrero Rodríguez. Eh, yo soy licenciado en idioma inglés. Eh, parte de, de mi formación académica tiene que ver con didáctica, planificación, inglés avanzado e inglés como segundo idioma. Mi experiencia laboral también es, es con Riga International, más de seis años como docente y cinco años como tutor privado. Eh, vamos a hablar acerca de las tareas y las evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Siempre haciendo un, un poquito de recuerdo y énfasis a lo, a, lo, a lo mencionado con anterioridad. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de las tareas, de las tareas eh, y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. ¿Puede adelantar contenido? Sí lo puede hacer. Sí lo podemos hacer. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a medianoche ya que este registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Solo este, solo este, esta semana, perdón, el día jueves, como es 2 de noviembre, es asueto, se nos dieron las instrucciones de que la clase del jueves se pasa para el viernes. Entonces el corte de ustedes va a ser, ya no va a ser viernes a medianoche, va a ser eh, sábado a, a, a medianoche. Eh, todas las tareas y temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completados, dijimos verdad, a medianoche. Material de apoyo será compartido, criterio del profesor, en formato digital, ¿verdad? Tareas y evaluaciones del módulo de inglés, de, perdón, de inglés intermedio del módulo 2. La semana 1, ¿verdad? Como ya lo eh, han escuchado, mencionado algunos de ustedes, la sección 1 y 2 va para la semana, para la semana 1. En el caso de la semana 2, tenemos la sección 3 y el midterm, que es un pequeño examencito. La semana 3, la sección 4. Semana 4, sección 5 y final exam. Eh... Tenemos las políticas, ¿verdad? En este caso, eh, las políticas de asistencia. Asistencia al 80% de las clases, avance y desarrollo de plataforma de aprendizaje, inicio de clases, horario establecido. Siempre tener cámara encendida, por favor. La duración de la clase es de 60 minutos. Trabajar ejercicio de la plataforma de clases y de esa manera para poder obtener su diploma. Normas de convivencia, botón en silencio, lista de asistencia según el programa, según cómo la brinden. En este caso, eh, vamos a esperar por la de ustedes porque se está haciendo unos cambios con ella. Nombre completo, cámara encendida todo el tiempo, chicos. Recuerden eso, sí. cámara encendida. Y aquí estoy viendo que eh, Catherine, Elena eh, y Astrid, eh, estamos teniendo cámaras apagadas. Eh, necesitaría saber el por qué, tal vez están teniendo algunos inconvenientes técnicos o algo, pero siempre es bueno que nos lo hagan saber para que así nosotros en la institución se busque la manera en la cual cómo, cómo asistirle, ¿verdad? Eh, participación activa, uso de chat, levantar su mano, ¿verdad? El momento de participar y siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Eh, unos con los otros, siempre, siempre, siempre mantenerlo. ¿Por qué nos enfocamos bastante en, en el encendido de la cámara, chicos? Porque así nos cercioramos al 100% de que ustedes están activamente participando durante la jornada de clase. Ese es el objetivo en el cual, el, el por qué también se tiene que tener la cámara encendida. Ok, let's move right here.
Oh, sorry for the minute. Sure, no problem. Okay, guys. If you see here, we have a common complaints of family with teenagers. Common complaint families with teenagers. Parents about things and things about parents. The most famous and common complaints don't help around the house. Don't help around the house. I need to check this guy. That some of you have your camera on. Elena Marisol Peralta, Catherine, Marie, Catherine Marielo Melendez, Carlos David, eh, Claudia Margarita, Astrid López, eh, Elena Marisol Peralta, ya la mencionamos. Catherine Marielo Melendez, Carlos David López Amaya, Astrid López, Lilia, Liliana Dolores. Por favor, encendamos las cámaras, ¿verdad? Porque es requisito en el cual nosotros debemos de tener para poder estar cursando. Ok. Ah, ok. Lily said that he's on his way to home. That, that's why it is good to, to know that, that you're having some issues. Ok, guys. Let's continue. The most common complaint about parents to their kids don't help around the house. Don't help around the house. Don't listen to my advice. Have a strange friend. Dress badly and have ugly hairstyle. Watch too much TV. Don't study enough. What about the things? My parents, they said. Knack about chores and homework. Don't like my friends. Oh, that's typical. That's typical. Criticize my parents. Don't respect my privacy. No, that's, that's not proper. Uh, always tell me what to do. Don't listen to my opinion. Okay, guys. Uh, have you ever heard parents or children make this complaint? Uh, which one? Guys, uh, I don't know how many of you have heard about this complaint at home. I don't know how 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 many of you have heard this one. Uh, okay, hello, uh, hello, Astrid. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Sorry, nice nice to meet you. <laughs> I was putting my my phone off. And, uh, okay, uh, Astrid. Uh, do you consider this one, the one that we have here? Don't respect my privacy. Uh, you are a daughter, right? Yes, I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Okay, you have a daughter. Uh, do you see this one is correct for them? And uh, giving a lot of privacy to them? Mm, well, in my case, my kid is, uh, she have uh, four years and four years old. So um, for the moment, she don't say me that she need a privacy. And um, but mm -hmm. I have a, a son who have sixteen, mm -hmm. and he yes. Um, he's <laughs> the one who who is asking you to have more privacy, right? Yes, and he likes to have the door of his room uh, closed. And oh. when I want some, when I want to tell him something. And he expect that I knock the door first. Oh, he expect that you knock the door first. Yes. Oh yeah, I I I seen the, the those uh, I this is very uh, very uh, like uh, like the word said like common complaint that we have here in our society. Even here in our country, we have those kind of complaint that are kid or children is telling us what to do because in the 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 this thing happened with my uh, the majority of the time with the teenagers because they think or they consider that they must have privacy and in this case is because they are experienced like a that difficult stage in their life i think the the that is between 14 and 
in 17 is like the most difficult stage for the majority of the people. Uh, for boys and for girls, I think it's, it's, it's very difficult because they are, uh, or they are trying to experience a, a lot of things, but uh, as you know, you have, you know, as a mother, uh, uh, you must be expected about what they are doing. You, uh, you need to be watching all of what they done at home, right? Uh, yeah. And if you see, this one is very common. They said, don't respect my privacy. Okay. We are agree with you, Astrid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Astrid. What about, uh, hello, Maria Magdalena. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm good, Maria. Maria, do you think, uh, uh, what do you think uh, the most common complaint family with teenagers? The father said, don't help around the house. Do you think that it, that it is, might be like a, one of the most popular at home? Don't help around the house. Mm, the most popular, um, I don't help around the house. Yeah, they don't help around the house. Yes. Why? Because even you, as a, I, I, Maria, you, you are a mother. You are already a mother, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. How many kids do you have? One, uh, two, three. One, one, one. Just one. Okay. Yes. For you, in this case, for being a mom, it's sometimes like a kind of difficult trying to ask for help to your son, to your daughter. In this case, that is something that we always want to tell to our kids because it is good that they help at home and mopping, sweeping, or maybe help with, with some clothes that, that was laundered. Uh, yeah, because you as a mother, you cannot do everything alone. You used to do everything alone, but when they were uh, like a monks uh, at, at that age, right? Because in like they they have one year, two years, they couldn't help with with nothing at home, right? Because they they didn't understand well. And the most common in this case from parents uh, to the kid is don't help around the house. Don't help around the house. That's true. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're going to move. Let's go to see right here. Who wants to help me? I see, I see a guy over here. Hello, Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Oh, good, Carlos. And you? Yeah. I'm good. Thank ah, you. you're good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos, uh, from this one, do you see watch too much TV? It is true in the case of the kids that they watch too much TV? Uh, I don't have uh, You don't kids, have kids? Uh, no, but yes. in, mm -hmm. it's not referring in the case if you have kids or if you don't. Uh, do you consider that the majority of the kids are uh, not only here in El Salvador, uh, we are referring in this case to around mm. the world. The, do in you consider case, in this case a uh, 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 switch um, TV um, for a smartphone? Watch too much smartphone. Oh, they spend a lot of time in their cell phone or in their tablet. Oh, no, no, no problem. No, no problem. We are learning. Don't worry about that. They uh, use a lot of technical devices, uh, technological devices. And in this case, this is something that might hurt your eyes. And you, uh, in this case of the kids, they start having some eyes problem because if you spend a lot of time in front of, of a screen, your eyes are absorbing those uh, 
ultraviolet light that comes from the screen of the computer. And that's why the majority of us, uh, we use glasses because that helps us to reduce those bad uh, lights that come from those devices. Even from the TV, the light that comes from the TV is not good. If you spend a lot of time in front of the TV, you are going to see that you are start like a, like a crying, but it's due to that thing. Okay, thank you, guys. Let's go to move to our next last slide. Okay, sorry, we're going to move here. And we're going to move here. Okay, here we have a conversation, guys. Here we have a conversation between Mr. Phil and Jason. And he said, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV a, a little, please. Yes. And, oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're really all over the living room floor. In a minute, mom, I on the phone. Oh, she's on the phone. She's very busy. Okay, but do it as soon as you hang up. Lisa, sure, no problem. Mr. Phil, goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Oh, the most typical phrase, definitely. Okay, guys, I would like uh, to participate uh, from the group to help me with this little dialogue conversation that we have here. Who wants to help me to read it? Who wants to be Mr. Phil? And who wants to be Jason? Me, teacher, Elena. Elena Marisol, okay, Elena Marisol. You're gonna be Mr. Phil. And Crisia Morena, thank you, Crisia. You're gonna be Jason, right? Okay, let's, we are going to start at the count of three. Okay. One, two, three, let's go. Okay. J Jason, right? Yeah, Jason, Jason. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV a little, please. Oh. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it is very loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll turn it down. Mm -hmm. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They all over the living room. Uh, I Lord, right. They are all over the living room floor. Uh -huh. Ah, floor. Okay. I don't yeah. see very well. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's not you. It's that the image that is in like a... Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. In a minute, in a minute, Mom, I am on the phone. Okay, but do it as soon as you hang up. Sure, no problems. Sure, no problem. Goodness, where we like this when we were kids? This? Kids. Ah, uh, this when we were kids. The last one? Definitely. Oh, I'm sorry. Definitely. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. And let's go to see here. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay. Silvia Esther Rivera. Hello. Hi. Good Hello. evening. Uh, good evening. How are you, Silvia? I'm fine, and and you? <laughs> I'm fine. I think we are good because now we are practicing and we are in a very good and interesting class today. You're going to help us, right? Being okay. Mr. F Mr. Phil, and who else going to help me? I'm going to see Claudia Margarita Const Constante, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, Claudia, you're going to be Jason, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, and in this case, let's go to start the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's start. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV a little, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, but, but this is my favorite program. 
I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it down. Uh -huh. That's better, thanks. And who continue here? Lisa? You continue, you continue here. Lisa, please. Or... Yeah. The one oh, okay. who... Uh, okay, I, I understand. Lisa, oh. please pick up your things. They're all over the living room floor. Okay, thank you. In a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. Okay, but do it as soon as you hang up. Uh -huh. Sure, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. 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 Uh, it's definitely. like a um, definitely. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What is this making emphasis, guys? This is making emphasis like uh, you were kids, right? You remember that your parents used to tell you, please turn on the music, please turn on the, turn down the volume of your TV and all those kind of things. And uh, please pick up your toys around. They are split over on the floor. <laughs> okay, let's move to our next slide, guys. Here we have two power bears with for responding to requests. Here we have, right? Here we have it with nouns and here we have with pronouns. As we already know, the pronouns are the ones that substitute the nouns, requests, and responses. Okay, here we have turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. If you see, the order is the one, the only one that's changed. First one, we can use turn down and then the 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 TV, the no the not of the TV. But we can put it in the middle. We can set turn the TV down with pronoun. Remember the pronoun substitute the nouns. Turn it down. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I turn it down pick up your things pick your things up what about with pronouns pick them up pick up your clothes please sure i'll pick them up if you see it doesn't matter if the word orders change even if you use the two part verbs at the beginning or if you change it, putting one at the beginning and let it the second one and at the end of the sentence. The meaning is going to be the same. The only thing that is going to change is the order. That's why they are called two part verbs because are divided in two sections and always have the same meaning. Why we respond and we will? Because will is telling us that it's going to be a future action that you're going to make or going to develop. That's why he's saying, okay, I will turn it down. I will turn it down. Those are uses as a responding to requests. Any doubt about this, guys? Or everything is clear for the moment? No question for the moment for for this part, guy. Mm, well, silence. No, teacher. Astrid. No, everything everything is clear, teacher. Oh, but who who was speaking? I, I just hear. Or oh, everything is clear, right? Okay, let's move to our next slide. Okay, guy. What we have here? Let's going to move here. This right here. Here we have some, oh, sorry guys. Okay, here we have some vocabulary. Here we have the books, here we have the toys, the radio, your call, the TV, your boots, the jar, the light, the, tra the trash, your cigarette. What are we are going to do here, guys? We're going to complete the statement 
with the words that we have right here. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, and here we also we have five, and another five that makes ten. If you see, here we have the first example that is oh, uh, already done. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toy, please. Using the two power verbs. Which one do you consider or do you see that is the right for the number two? Turn, turn what? The radio. Oh. The TV. The TV the lights. The lights. Turn the light. Turn, turn the light off, please. Because it's like a, a making a little bit more emphasis to the number two is making like a more emphasis to lights, right? That's why we say turn the lights off, please. Okay, thank you guys. Let's move to the number three. Clean your boots. The mm. yard. The yard. The yard. The clean the yard off. Please. Please, okay, that might, that, that might be a case, that might, that might apply here. Okay, let's move to the number four. Please put... The what? The book. No, focus on this word, mm -hmm. away, Oops. away. Please put the your trash. cigarette. Your cigarette. Please put your, please put your cigarette away. No, I, I think in this case is making emphasis more to to the cigarette because I think the majority of the people uh, they don't like uh, the cigarette smell. Yeah, the, I don't know how many of you here smoke, or I think the for the one that does smoke, uh, just the the smell that comes from the cigarettes. Uh, makes you feel nauseous, uh, makes you feel headed, makes you feel bad. That's why I think it's the the the, pro, the 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 most the most popular for this case we can say in that word. Uh, please put your cigarette away. Okay. What about the number five? Mm -hmm. Please turn down the TV. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. we have please read this. Down the radio. Uh -huh. the radio please, the radio please turn down the radio. Radio. radio 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 i think just in the car we listen the radio right because at home we listen youtube spotify and what else and the another app that is used for for music Well, the one that you can use in your smart TV, right? In my case, I, I only use uh, uh, YouTube because I I look for the video and I put it on the screen and start listening to music. Okay, what about the number six? Please take off. I think yeah. it's your boot. Mm, take off, take off. The TV? Mm. Ah, the trash. <laughs> you were not paying attention, guy. I was showing you. I was showing you. I was giving you the clue. Please take off the trash. Please take off the trash. Okay. What about the number seven? Teacher, one question. Okay, okay tell me. Oh, and number six, please okay. take off the trash. Take off means. Oh, sorry. Uh, take off. Take out. Oh, oh, so sorry, 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 sorry. I confused. Take off and take out. Yeah, thank you for 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 the observation. Uh, yeah, the observation. yeah, I, yeah. I didn't see well. I I got confused for just for being playing with the with the. With the image of the trash, yeah, it is. Uh, in this case, the trash. Take off flash. your coat. Ah, uh, take off your your boots. Coat. Or yeah. your, no, your coat is like a. Your butt. Your butt. Uh, 
No, uh, where is, no, because the, the, the codes apply here in the number seven, hang. Or your boots. Mm -hmm, your boots. In this case, the most uh, proper one is, I think the, the boots. Please take off your boots because we have the two part bear here, take and off. And here we have the complement, your boots, your boots. That that be for the number six, your boots. And the number seven, eh, eh, here we have the key word because it says hang, hang. What can your we have? Coat. Uh, we have clothes, we have, we have okay. tower, we have coat. Okay. Hang your coat yes. up, please. Okay. Thank you. What about the number A? The trash. Uh -huh. This one is applied for the trash. This the one, trash. okay, applies for the trash. Please take out the trash. Please take out out the trash. I confused because two of them start with O. <laughs> I didn't see well. I need. Uh, I think I need uh, glasses. Uh, okay, let's see the number nine. Please put. Put what? Put the book, books. Put. The books out. Yeah, it might, it might apply. It might apply. Please put the books out. What about the number 10? Turn, Turn on the TV. Turn on. The, oh, the, TV. The, TV. the TV, the TV, because we already turned off the light and now we're going to turn off the TV. <laughs> yeah, because we are saving, we are saving money because if you're watching TV, you turn off the light. <laughs> yeah, and, and also that makes you feel like you were in, in the in the cine, right? The, that gives you like that little sensation. Okay, guys, and spot. Okay, thank you. We already completed this part. Let's move to the following. Oh, oh, sorry. Let me move this a little bit. Pronunciation, stress with two power barrel. Okay, guys, what do you mean the pronunciation with the two power barrels? What we are, and... Here we have one, two, three, and four. Which one, the one from the one that we have here, are the two part bears? Who wants to help me, guys? From the one that we have here. We have four statement, four short statement, and here is very, very, very demonstrate you can see clearly right here where we have the two barbers mm -hmm. which one are the two barbers it is please Crisia Morena okay hello Crisia which one here are the two barbers Crisia Crisia, which one from here are the uh, two part bears? Tell me. You tell me. <laughs> from here. Uh, it is please? No. Hmm? It is torn. I think I have some problems with the internet. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. I, I think that that the majority of you is having technical problem with your internet due to the rain, uh, because you know, we are having uh, that problem with the with the tropical storm that that we have uh, at this moment, right, in the coast of our country. Okay, next we're going to listen and practice both words in two part bear. Receive equal stress, please. Turn down the radio. 
torn it down. If you see, like the stress, the force in which we pronounce those words. It's like um, uh, you are increasing or raising your tone of your tone of the voice. You raise it because the two part of the verse uh, uh, needed to be doing that way in order you pronounce correctly. Pick the emergency up, please. Pick the up. In this case, guys, it what it is it? We were talking the it is the, the pronoun. Pronoun. It is the pronoun. Thank you. But what pronoun is referring to? Is referring to to what? From here. The, the radio. It's referring radio. to to the radio. That's pronoun. In this case, guys, this pronoun is singular or is plural? Singular. It's singular. It's singular because it is referring to one only things. Remember, you never going to use it with a plural no. Each pronoun goes according with the one that are needed or the one we goes together. In this case, it goes with singular, only with singular. You going, you never going to say or you're never going to write it or never use it, it with a plural because those never are going to match. Never of the never. It's like when you want to wear your shoes. You're never going to wear one shoe. You're going to wear the two shoes because you're going to to flag like a, when you were walking, like a walking very weird. In this case, everything is according with what we are going to work. Single goes with single, plural goes with plural. Okay, here we have the number two. Pick the magazine up, please. Pick them up. What we have here? We have another, another what? Pronoun. Another Pronoun. pronoun. Uh, Sylvia, and this pronoun, it is referring to a singular thing or a plural? A plural. A plural, okay, a plural. Remember, singular goes with singular and plural goes with a plural. Never of, never and never going to use in a different way. Never and never, okay. Beside those ones that we have here, which one can we write or can we make using the two part verse? Or just we can go back a little bit and see the... Okay, guys, we're going to use the the list of the what that we have here, the two part, two part verse list that we have here. And the only thing that we're going to change are going to be the names. Okay, if I tell you, please turn down. What can we add here? The radio. We can Are use, no, turn down, down, down. We can, we can say in another word, please turn down the TV volume. Turn down the TV volume. We can use it in, in, in that way too, the two part bears. This two part bear that we have here, that is torn down. It might be used with the TV, but it's referred with the, in this case, torn down refers to, to some noise, to wow. some noise. Even if you are talking or if you are speaking with another person and uh, uh, here in your country, that is like uh, something very popular or common, you know, mm -hmm. we can say in the, in that way. That maybe when you are speaking with someone else, the another person always rise their voice and you say, hey, please, could you turn down your voice a little bit, please? Ah, okay, okay. That is very common here in your country that we always find with people who 
Uh, also, or the majority of the time is raise their voice. Or maybe that is the way in which they talk. Uh, that's why we always say that if we are uh, close to to the one that we are talking, right? What about in the case of clean up, please? What about the number three? What else can we put or use here? Clean? Clean what? What else the can yard. we clean? The yard. Clean the, the yard. Yeah. Okay, that's what... That's the one that we use here using those image, but using another another noun. Clean the clean the kitchen up, please, or clean the table yeah. up, please. Those those two are others that, that we can use because clean up means that you want to clean something that is dirty. Yeah. Okay. What about in the case? Oh, this this is very common, right? And turn off. You can turn the light off, please. Or you can say turn off. You can turn the the, the TV off. Yeah. Because you can turn off the trash. <laughs> we cannot do that. We cannot turn off the trash, but we can turn off turn off the, the lights and we can turn off the TV. What? Okay, in the, in the case of put out, what word or what name can we use here using the two words? Put out. What else can we put out? Please put your bike out, please. Please put your bike out. That that might be used. Or we can use split put. In this case, we were referring to the boot. Split put your boots out. And what else can we? Oh, take take out. Here they take 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 out. Oh, the number the number A. Here we have the number A. Please take out, take out, take out. What can we take out? Please take out the dog. The trash. The trash. Uh, yeah, the trash also. You can take your dogs for a walking. For a and walking. We can yeah. use the please take out the dog. Yeah, please take uh -huh. out the the dog, yeah, the dog. Please take out the dog. Okay, thank you. And what else we hang? What else, what else can we have besides the coat? Hang? What is this? This is a shirt. Your jacket? A jacket. You can hang hang up a jacket, a shirt, a towel, your your cap, what else? What about your purse in the case of the girl? You hang up your purse because you don't put on the floor, right? The purse that you use or the the big but the big ones <laughs> you hang up them. And let's backpack. see. Sorry. Backpack. Oh, the backpack. Thank you. The backpack. You also hang the backpack up. Yeah, the backpack is always hang up. The backpack. And then we see. Turn it off because turn down. And we turn off. We were talking about the TV, right? We already used that one. Turn on the TV, please. But you can say, turn on the light, please. We can say in this case, turn on the kitchen. We can use this in the case of the, of the kitchen when you are trying to start the fire in the, in the kitchen. In yes. order you... What? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you can... 
for the kitchen, right? Yes. Uh, we do uh, uh, switch. Ah, uh, you switch. You uh -huh. you can do it in that. You can say in that way. Turn on, turn on the the kitchen, please, or turn the turn on the flame of the kitchen, or the whatever the you computer. want to. Yeah, turn on the, the computer. The oh the matches. Oh thank yeah, the matches. The matches. Um uh, in the case of fighter, but uh, in outside parts, it is not used or applied because uh, in the outside part, that is mean that when you were in a camping, you put some wood, but you don't turn on, you start a fighter. That is different, right? From the one that you use at the in, in the house, in the kitchen. You start a fire when you are in a camping. Yeah? You start a fire. That is uh, different from the one that, that is used in the in the kitchen. But in the kitchen, we can use turn on the kitchen, please. Or but in the case when you were camping, you use start the fire or start a fire. Please, that is different. In that case, change it. Okay, and we did those exercise. Let's going to move right here. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have it that way better. Okay, here we have a household chore. Fine frame the list that is usually paired with each bear. Some frame go with more than one bear. Can you think of more phrase for each bird? Okay, guy. Here, here we were having more, more, more two part bears, right? And some phrases that we can compete with the following words that we have here. Here we have the counter, here we have the cut, here we have the dry cleaning, here we have the faucet, here we have the groceries, here we have the mess, the oven the garbage, the newspaper, the towels. Okay, here we have, we're going to start with the, hola? I'm sorry, what is the faucet? The faucet. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, like the bottoms of something? Mm, almost, you are getting near of that. Like the bottoms of the of the kitchen to regul regulate the um you plane? you open and close the faucet when you want to use your hose when you want to use the hose and water the plants what that is that is the faucet the one you touches in order to open and close open and close oh yeah when you are when you are watching uh, the ditches. The faucet is the one that you open and close. That is called the faucet. Or in better words, in Spanish, you, we can say el chorro, or I don't know in which way, which other way we can call it in, in Spanish. El grifo, what else? Chorro, grifo. Mm, I think that's it, right? <laughs> chorro, grifo. We can say grifation because grifation doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay that is that is just only for spanglish remember no but in spanglish the, those those words really exist in spanglish like watch up like watch up. that is the most popular that we use in in, in spanish watch up y watch up is like uh, when you uh, must be careful or you must be aware of something when you are outside or beware of something around you okay let's here we have Two, one, two, three, four, five. Another five, that makes 10. Here we have 10 exercise. And we're going to use the best vocabulary that completes each of the two part verbs. Okay. Let's go with the number one, clean off. Clean off what? What? The mess. The mess. Okay, the mess. But don't go into, don't go into say clean off the messy. No, 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 no. Messi is the player. Messi is the player. Messi is another thing. Here the Messi is, is referred to another thing, right? The oven? <laughs> yeah. The what? Clean off the oven. Uh, yeah, clean off the, 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 clean off the oven. Uh, yeah, it can make uh, 
emphasis to the oven. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It can make emphasis with the oven. Yeah, it is. It is. It is great because uh, we can use more than one time each of the uh, each of the words that we have here. You see, we have two spaces. We can use uh, two times here, another two times in the other one. That is according to uh -huh. uh, that is according to our imagination. How how we are trying on how we are going to use this because to make like a wide, more complex exercise. Okay, you said the mess and the over. What about the number two? Clean up what? Clean the up. Mess. Clean, clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. Clean up the mess. What else? Clean, clean up the garage. I'm sorry. The, the, the oh, what? No. Sorry, I, I, the I garbage. Read, but... This one. Yes, but uh, I oh. read. Oh, you but... confused. You got you confused with garage. Yes. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Don't worry. That those kind of thing happens to all of us. Those kind of thing happens. Even if eh, those things happen more when you spend a lot of time in front of a screen. Yeah, because your eyes uh, are doing a hard effort for being focused on what you are watching. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Everybody, we can make mistakes. Don't worry about that. Okay. Clean up. Uh, Sylvia said, clean up the garbage. Yeah, you can say it that way. What about clean up what? Clean up. The counter, can we can we use the counter? The counter. Yeah, we can say it, right? The counter. Thank you. Thank you. What about hang up? Hang up. Can you no, hang 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 up. The towels. The towels. The towel. Mm -hmm. The towel. Mm -hmm. Okay, the towel. The towel. What about pick up? Pick up. Pick up the newspaper. Pick up the newspaper, right. And what else can we use with pick up? Pick up the groceries for the kids. Pick up the toy of the kids, yeah. Even if, the, if that one is not here, but we can, we can say in that way. We can say also pick up the towels. In this case, if we are referring that the towels were on the floor. Yeah, we can say in that way, pick up the towels because the towels were on the floor. That might be uh, good too, right? What about put away, put away? What can we put away? Mm -hmm. The counter? No, the counter is the one that you have it in, in 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 your kitchen. But if you yeah, you can say you can refer uh -huh. to that. You can say in that way you remove the groceries. The grocery. The grocery. Oh, the grocery. Put away the groceries. Yeah, we can. Or you can put away the the garbage, right? Because the garbage smell very, very bad, right? It smell very, very bad. Okay. What about put out? Put out or put out? What the can garbage. we put? The garbage. What else? The cat. The cat, yeah, the cat. If the cat is having a bad behavior, you can put it out. You can put it out. And he's going to put come back. Out the oven. Yes. Oven. Oh. Put, uh, uh, put out the oven, huh? Yeah. And what else? Okay. What about the throw out, throw out? Throw out. 
throw out? Can we use the garbage? Can you throw out the the what? The the towel? Yeah, you can say you can throw out the towel. If a friend of you need a towel, you throw it out. <laughs> you can throw it out uh, the towel. Yeah. Or uh, you can throw it out your cell phone. You can throw out your cell phone. Even when someone tries to steal your cell phone, you better throw out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Teacher, what? Take out, take out. Hola. That's three, and right? you miss take out. No, we said take out, but I, I don't remember which word we use with, with take out. Uh, I, I remember I, I use the cat. Can you take out uh, the cat? The cat. I remember that, that, that I use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the, that I use take out the cat. The cat. Take out, right? Because in this case, guys, like put out, take out, throw out, the three of them are like synonyms. Do you know what a, a, a synonym is, right? Have you heard about synonyms? Los synonymos, ba? Mm -hmm. That means that the three of them are like a synonym. Yeah, at the end means the same but they are structured in different way. That's the only thing that change. And the, another thing that change in the three of them is the grammar. If you see, throw out, take out, put out. Those are the things that they change. But they, in general meaning, uh, they are close to mean the same. But though the only that change the meaning is the context in which you are using them. That's the only thing that changed the real meaning. Mm -hmm. It is clear? Okay, what about turn off? Turn off. Turn off the oven. Turn off the oven. Okay. The faucet. Oh, uh -huh, the faucet. Turn off the faucet. Okay. The dry cleaning. The what? The dry cleaning. No, que oh. eso? Ah, the dry cleaning. Uh -huh. the, the dry cleaning is the, the la secadora de ropa. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, the one that is used to, to to dry your clothes. After you wash your after you do your laundry, you dry your clothes. But well, you can do it with a machine or you can do it putting in the sun, like some of uh, like the majority of the Salvadoran people do it here in El Salvador, right? Okay, let me check something right here, guys. Okay, let's move to. Okay, we are going. We are having like a two more or three minutes. Here we have. Uh, what request can you make in each of these places? Right, for, for requests and for unusual excuse. Used to barber. If you see, guys, here we continue using the two part bears. But here we have your some no. Here we have the kitchen, here we have the bathroom, here we have the living room, here we have the bedroom. And in this case, we have this little example that it says, Mark, please clean up your mess in the kitchen. If you see, clean up your mess in the kitchen. We use another more complex uh, complement in the sentence to make it like a little bit longer. You can do it short if you want it, but the majority of things are longer. Uh, and, he, and he answered, I can't clean up right now. I have to take the cat. Did you see? I have to take the cat out. Remember, take the cow out. The two-part bear, did you see? The first is here in take, and the second, second one is here out for a walk. You take out your, uh, okay guys, due to the time, uh, I think that we are going to stop here. 
this is going to be everything. I don't know if everything it is clear about the two part verse in this case. I don't know how many you have a doubt or or something that was not clear at all for you. I don't know if everything was clear for all of you guys or I uh, or you're still having some doubts or do you really understand one hundred percent the whole the whole class? <laughs> Everything is clear for the moment? Yeah. Yes, for the moment, yeah. it's clear. Okay, it's clear. What about Carlos? Everything is clear, Carlos? Yes, teacher, it's clear. What about you, Olga? Everything, Olga Lisette Valdez? Everything is clear for you? Hello, Olga, hello. Oh. Hello, Olga. Everything is clear for you in this case. It is clear, right. What about you, Diana Patricia? Yes. Diana Patricia Orantes. Everything is clear for you? Yes, I think that I need practice with the, the exercise and I do it and it's very clear for practice this class. Okay. But it's okay. Everybody, we, uh, yeah, that we're going to do, uh, keep practices. I think that we are going to do in the in the whole model, right? 